Uh, I know of two people, two different situations, exact same thing. Uh, one family, the son has a girlfriend, and the other family, the son had a girlfriend, and the parents found out about it. So family A, the mother told me, and, it, and I witnessed this myself and had seen it uh, the entire time the kids were growing up, they did not teach their children the religion. They did not teach their children uh, fiqh and sharia was not a priority in the home. Um, and so the mother admitted that she was disappointed that that was a choice her son made. And now he's even living with his girlfriend. He's in college. But they're a Muslim family. Um, the mother said that I kind of feel like my hands are tied. My husband and I did not teach our children the deen at all. So how can I now tell him that he needs to fear Allah? or that this is a sin, or that it's haram. So fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. The other family, I, I learned a lot from their situation. So the, the other family actually always taught their children about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they taught their kids about fiqh and sharia and what Allah's rights are and what the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu is. And they themselves followed the rules of the religion in the home. Despite all that, the son um, took a, a, a girlfriend in high school, and the mom found out about it, the parents found out about it. And I learned a lot from their response. Um, what the mother told me they did is they sat their son down, and they said, okay, so here you have a girlfriend. And um, they had found out from um, siblings in the family had, had let out the secret. And the son confirmed it, that he did ha indeed have a girlfriend. And so the mom said, okay, well, what are we going to do about this? Because you know that even though she's not Muslim, she has rights. Your girlfriend has rights. And I'm not going to ask you like how far you've taken your relationship with her. I'm just going to ask you, how now do you want to make this relationship halal? And he was in high school. He was 16 years old. And the son's like, well, what do you mean, make it halal? And the mom's like, well, you know that we, in Islam, that there's no premarital relations. And if you've decided that this girl is important to you and important enough that you're going to cross this line, then we need to do what we need to do to make it halal. And here are the options. Your dad and I can go to Mr. and Mrs. Smith's home, and uh, we will give a marriage proposal on your behalf. And the son was horrified, <laughs> horrified. He's like, what are you talking about? And the mom was like, I know their address. So this is not a problem. And she was actually speaking very respectfully to her son. And she said that, I know their address, and we can go and have a talk with the parents and explain that you're Muslim, and we've raised you Muslim, and these are the rules of our religion. And she said to her son, don't worry, honey. This is, you don't have to live together. You don't have to be a husband and wife the way your mom and dad are husband and wife. You just have to make your relationship halal. And if you decide to break up with her, then you're going to pay her her meher, and she's going to have her rights fulfilled, and then you guys will go your separate ways. But she needs to know that she has rights according to our religion. You're not going to hide that from her. And so the parents made it about really about compassion and caring towards other people and she said, I know that in you know, other religions or other cultures, it's okay. Boys and girls can get together before marriage and do whatever they want. And they can have their hearts broken and there's no justice and everyone goes on. But in our religion, we have rules. And so the son was like, obviously not going for that. He was completely terrified at the idea of his parents showing up to his girlfriend's home with a marriage proposal. And, and the mom even painted a, like a lovely scenario. She's like, you'll be able to go to the prom with her. You know, you'll be able to do all the things that you want to do. You don't have to do it behind our backs. And the community can know about it. It will. It, nobody will say that, oh, look, Mr. and Mrs. Muhammad's son is, has a girlfriend behind their backs. And they don't know this. Will, we will have dignity. We will have respect. She, like, painted it as something that was actually doable. But what she did tell her son was she said, you have, uh, let me see if I remember this correctly. She said, you have three options. She said, one, you can end the relationship with your girlfriend, and there are going to be tears, and it's going to, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt her. It's going to hurt you. But in the end, you'll be choosing Allah, and you will be choosing to do the right thing and have a halal relationship by breaking up. 
you can choose to get married and then continue doing what you're doing right now, but it will be out in the open and it will be approved by Allah and it will be halal. Or the third is you can choose something that is going to take you to the hellfire. And she was very, very blunt with her language. She didn't say, you're going to choose something, we're going to cut you off, we're going to have nothing to do with you, and we disown you. She said, you, will, you can choose something that is going to take you to the hellfire because you will be committing haram. And she's like, we have always taught you the rules of our religion. These are your three options in front of you. And she told him, um, she had this talk with him, and then her husband had a talk with him. She said, we're going to give you a week to decide. And he said, okay, I need a week. He said, I'm, I'm not going to just give you the answer you want right now. And she's like, that's fine. And she, they set a date. They set a time. They went out for brunch. And she said, in a week, we're going to go out to brunch. And you let us know what you want to do, and we will facilitate. And he was not happy about it. He met with them a week later, and he accepted that he was going to end the relationship. And it was not easy. Um, the mom told me there were a lot of tears and after the son uh, ended the relationship with his girlfriend, the mom cried with him. She cried with him, which blew me away because I was trying to think about how I would react if this was my situation. And I don't know if I would have had that kind of empathy or sympathy. I think I would have been like, it serves you right. This is what you got yourself into. Now deal with the, the repercussions or the feelings. But mashallah, this mom had a lot of compassion. And she held her son as he wept because it was so hard for him. But what I loved about that example that I saw was she empowered him to make the right decision. But it was only possible after a whole lifetime of showing that this is where the buck stops. We, everything ends at sharia and fiqh and what Allah expects of us. If you haven't been doing that your entire life, then, all, then it's like the family A, the, the first family I told about. They, their hands are tied. What, what can they tell their kid now about what he can and can't do when they've never said anything before?